Hi fellow educators, my name is Elizabeth and I am a kindergarten teacher here in California. This year I'm so excited to share with you that I am partnering with BrainSpring and I'll be sharing how I teach my students how to read. I actually get asked this question all the time on my platform. I've actually been asked in passing with parents, how do you get your students to read? Educators have asked, and so I am excited to share our journey. I'll be using the Phonics First Orton-Gillingham approach to teach my students how to read this year, and I'm basically just gonna be sharing our journey here on this platform. So the Phonics First Orton-Gillingham approach builds the important foundation for phonics and reading. And I completed the Phonics First Level 1 training over the summer. It was a K through 5th grade course and hands down incredible. The training was very hands-on and the instructor modeled how to teach the curriculum and then gave us the opportunity to reteach what we learned. I've never taken a deep dive into a phonics training like I did over the summer. It basically gave me this incredible vault of tools to teach phonics to my students. So I ended the training that week feeling much more confident, much more equipped with materials to know how to build those foundational skills that are so important for phonics and for reading. And the curriculum is so easy to follow, whether you're a seasoned teacher or a brand new teacher, you can literally start the year just hitting the ground running with a strong phonics curriculum. And the materials are just very practical, they're easy to use, they are multi-sensory, which is honestly my favorite. You know, you're appealing to all those different learning modalities, seeing, hearing, touching. The curriculum is very easily adaptable to any classroom. And I've heard teachers share everything from they use it whole group and then they go to small groups. Um, I've heard educators share that they use it to open up their language block. Other educators have said that their reading specialist uses it exclusively, um, so it's very easily adaptable. The multi-sensory aspect is my favorite for the students because it keeps the students engaged and hands-on. It makes learning fun, which is so important. BrainSpring has this magic sand, which my students love. It's basically this sand that is made from the Feldspar family of rock. It's safe and non-toxic. Uh, using the magic sand enhances that skill instruction and it creates that tactile kinesthetic learning pathway connection that just helps the students with their long-term recall. They also have these red word or also known as sight words. So red words are the words that we use to teach. And they have these red word screens. So it's basically a screen that you put a piece of paper over top of. The students use a red crayon to write on the paper. And when they do that, the word traces in a bumpy way because of the screen. And then they're able to use their finger to trace over the word and trace that bumpiness. So it's appealing again to that kinesthetic, tactile learning. Also do gross motor skill um, activities where we write words in the air and then we bring it down to fine motor and then we go gross motor. So there's just so many different strategies and tools that the curriculum offers. It just helps make learning fun for the students. So we're about three weeks into our school year and we read every single day. We talk about reading every single day, whether they see it modeled because I read to them or they're just inquiring about what sounds letters make or how do you say this word or how do you stretch out these sounds. I have so many students that are begging me to learn how to read. So I have that excitement, I have their engagement, I have their interest, and they get so excited for their phonics time, their small group or whole group phonics time. You know, I am a huge believer in equipping the students with the tools that they need to be independently successful and the Phonics First Orton-Gillingham approach does just that. So I'm excited to take you with me and the students along with us this year on our journey as we learn how to read. I'm going to be going kind of in depth in the different layers 
in the curriculum and sharing some strategies that the curriculum offers. Of course, I'll link everything down in the description. So if you're looking for a multi-sensory, amazing phonics curriculum, check out Brainspring. I will also link them down below. If you have any questions or comments, please comment. We can start a discussion in the comments. And as always, consider hitting that subscribe button, liking this video, sharing it, bookmarking it um, for the future because I will basically be rolling out a series of how to teach your student or your child how to read using the Phonics First Orton Gillingham approach. I'm so excited. Come along with us, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.